What's going on, Lou Balls? What's up, Grace? Hi, right, guys. What's going on? Uh, today we have another drawing. This one is for the 18 tub. I'll turn the camera around. Right down there, that black one right there that's not being used. 18 tub CB5 hatching rack. Uh, you get 18 clear tubs. You get four inch heat tape all on the bottom. It's shipped, all you need is a thermostat, plug it in, ready to go, works amazing. Uh, eventually these two will also be uh, done as a drawing. So if you're interested in those, let me know. Um, I probably have a use for those for another, I don't know, I'm guessing in a week or two, this top one will be ready to go. And then that one will probably be probably a month or more um, once these are gone, I'm going to purchase an ARS 1065, I think it is. That's what's going to go in place of all this PVC stuff. So those will be going. I haven't decided yet if we'll get rid of the TGR FB10s. I believe I'm going to keep them. Definitely for the time being, I'm going to keep them. Uh, they work great right there. But, um, you know, it's a possibility that they'll eventually go away. The Sea Serpent rack down here. This one, also haven't, haven't decided what I'm going to do. Um, I probably will keep it because it works great for hatchlings as well. Um, and it's a little bit bigger than CV5 or FB5 CV. Uh, this one I can actually hold, you know, 400 gram, 500 gram animals. Still kind of comfortably. Um, so I don't know. It just really just depends. I need to order, like I said, I need to order up the ARS 1065. And I also think I'm going to order up probably three more levels of these, the 55 or the 5040s. Um, I've got the 5540 levels here, the three additional levels. So two will go here, one will go here. I got to do that this week sometime still. Uh, but still waiting to receive the other PVC enclosure for this girl here. So I can get her out of that glass one. And then those guys are going to go outside of this room. So, a lot to do still. Make a little more room. I mean, we actually, we're at capacity. Believe it or not. There's about 160 animals in here. Uh, that rack's completely full. That's completely full. That's completely full. That's full. There's a king snake in there. All that's full. Every single one of those are full. And the only thing we're not using, obviously, that, because that's going away. Currently, everything but one tub here is full. And there's seven animals in that one. So, I have to get more. I have to get these up and going. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm maxed out. Um, thankfully, I don't believe we're... We have one animal showing up next week that we purchased. Other than that, I don't plan to have anything else. So, we should be good for the rest of this year. And I don't know if we're going to be buying anything next year. It's possible. I'm going to do an entire YouTube video about our plans for the uh, next season. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Jamie and I have been talking. And um, year three of breeding, year four in the hobby, or in the breeding hobby, I should say. This coming up will be our third year of actually breeding. And um, it's time to actually make some money this year. So... Uh, if you're following us on YouTube, uh, you'll know that I've started, I did an intro video about the business side, so we're going to uh, get into that in depth, and um, if you're part of our Patreon, we're actually going to share our numbers with you, if you're not, you'll get a rough idea, um, but I won't actually go into details like I will with them, so yeah, going to be going to be a great set of videos just give me an idea of somebody who's been breeding going on a third year what you know if you're new to this also what to expect and uh, where you can either save money um, or spend your money wisely and how quick it takes to spend a lot of money uh, let's see 
Thanks, Grace. Appreciate it. The reptile room looked amazing. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right. So we're going to jump right into the drawing tonight. Um, like I said, we got that one that's going out then. Um, and then the other two. You know, these are great, these FB10s. I, I, right now, I can't foresee getting rid of them. I mean, they're holding on to some amazing animals. Like this beautiful yellow belly paint female. Um, and like this beautiful, this is a um, black pastel, it's a black, or it's a pewter, so cinnamon, pewter sunset. So that beautiful girl and all the other beautiful animals we have cannot forget to talk about this beautiful girl pastel spot nose clown so and I just found out she potentially is 50% pet pie that would be amazing all right let's go ahead and close this one out let's get to the drawings and um, let's get ourselves a winner so I'm gonna grab the camera here or my phone I should say I just got the new note what is this this is considered the note 20 G ultra 5g um, I think it helps a lot with clarity here um, can zoom in a little bit and still be legible so all right as always we're gonna roll two dice We'll then add those two dice together. We'll take the sum of those numbers and then we'll go over here to the list and we will hit the randomize button the amount of times that those two numbers add up to or two dice add up to. The winner will be the person whose name is at the top. Uh, the numbers on the side really don't matter. So good luck to everybody. And let's go ahead and get a winner. Seven. Four and three is seven. Hit the randomize button seven times and get a winner. Good luck, everybody. One. Uh, actually, hold on. We got to redo this. No, we don't. Wait. Maybe. I have a number here that's not correct. Hold on, we're gonna go back. I think I know it was, I think I had a space in here and I do. That has got to be gone. Make sure it should be, yep, okay, we're good. So I'm gonna redo that one. So it's still, regardless, still seven. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Joseph L. Scott Jr. You are tonight's winner. Congratulations, Joseph. Let me go ahead and get all the info here. Seven. We randomized the list seven times. There's the date. We are live. Joseph L. Scott Jr. Congratulations, Joe. Much appreciated. I'm looking up right now because I believe one of my cats is up on the vent wanting to get in the room, and it's not going to happen. Uh, anyways, congratulations, Joe. I'll get your address from you. We'll get this shipped out to you. Remember, I think you're in Maryland, so you should get this in like two days. Um, so I probably won't ship it. I don't want them to FedEx it any longer than they have to. So I plan to ship on Monday. So I will give you a show. We'll get your address. We'll get it boxed up. I'll get it shipped out on Monday. And, um, yeah, that's that. So, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Send me an email if you wish, jdhreptiles at gmail.com. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook and Patreon. 
Um, or obviously you're on YouTube. So you guys have a fantastic evening. I'm going to get to feeding because it's feeding night. And uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video, which will most likely be, see, this Thursday, probably tomorrow. Actually, I'll probably do it on Saturday. So I think I'm going to do the next um, or the first real video on the business side. So I think I'll do that Saturday morning, and I'll get that out this weekend. So have a good one, guys. Appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. Uh, if you want to get involved in these and you haven't, send me a message. Otherwise, we'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thank you.